Bessemer Borough is a community of about 1,100 residents in 1.7 square miles, you know, located about a mile from the Ohio State Line and kind of tucked in the corner of North Beaver Township, but Bessemer Borough is kind of its own political entity. My name is Nathan Leslie. I'm a lifelong resident of the area. I grew up in Little Beaver Township, but now a resident of Bessemer Borough, a pastor of the Bessemer Presbyterian Church, and now serving as a president of the Bessemer Borough Council. I did, yeah. So it, up till I went to college um, at 18, I, I was, you know, involved with the farming. I, uh, I did it because it was like the chore that you had to do. But I'd always loved it here. This is where home was. You know, my family's been here for 200 years. You know, we, this, is, this is where my roots are, you know. And uh, so I was elected to council for a four-year term by the voters of the borough. And then um, the council itself selected me as the president for that. Uh, for the body. To me, Bessemer has this heritage of being this great little community. When you hear people's stories about how it was, they had all these different stores, they had all these different public you know, institutions, and it was a community where everybody came together. I would love to see Bessemer find a way to be a, that quintessential small town in the 21st century, a place where small businesses can thrive, a place where, where people get to know each other. The council makes decisions based on everything from your infrastructures, um, maintenance for roads and maintenance for the water system, but also too, we're providing a police service. You know, we have a volunteer fire department that we work hand in hand with, uh, you know, those kinds of things, and just sort of working to advocate for the residents who live here. One of the things that has been very difficult for Bessemer is the loss of its industrial base. You know, once this was a thriving community that had a cement plant and two brick plants, those brick plants had, had closed, you know, decades ago, and now the cement plant within the last 10 years has, has closed. So there's not that kind of economic base. And of course, you have aging infrastructure. You know, we have a water system that we maintain ourselves, but it's difficult with regulations and just being a small uh, community to be able to pay the big bills that it takes to repair that system and maintain it. Um, so that, you know, on top of just regular community issues of paving roads and making sure you have adequate police service and those kinds of things. The biggest goal that Bessemer Borough has right now, I believe, is to fix um, our aging infrastructure, particularly our water system that needs a, a lot of work. You know, we want to provide better quality water for our residents. And so we're seeking grants and, and trying to make improvements and to put money aside for those bigger projects. Honestly, I've always loved this area. I feel like the people here, they really are good salt of the earth kind of people that really want to work together to, to make the world and the community a better place. And that's really, you know, it's, it's part of my own heritage. My, you know, going back, I have ancestors that have long been involved in, in public office and, and being a part of their community. And so to me, it's, it's a part of, of who I am, but it's also just a love for the way this community is and its heritage that I want to preserve. Hey, thanks for following along today. Part of my job as a realtor is to cultivate, educate, and grow the communities I live and work in. The other part of my job is to help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. So please keep me in mind if you or anyone you know needs help in those areas. If you know of other locally owned businesses I should highlight in this series, please let me know. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the like button. That helps here on YouTube. Till next time, take care.